Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. Hey, welcome to Sportsman's Adventures, and I'm with two of my favorite people, Pablo as well as John Cooper. And we're down here on the ocean side of Marathon in the Florida Keys, and you won't believe what we're catching. Big mangrove snappers is what we're catching. On today's Sportsman's Adventures, we head down to Marathon in the Florida Keys. Marathon is a 10-mile long, family-oriented community situated in the middle of the Keys Island chain. Here, residents and snowbirds enjoy the rich fishing heritage and the old Keys lifestyle. Marathon is separated from the Lower Keys by the famous Seven Mile Bridge. Located in center of the old bridge is Pigeon Key, a tiny island that once served as the home base for the workers building the Florida Overseas Railroad. Today, Captain Rick and his guests will be fishing the wreck and reefs for mangrove snappers. One of the most sought after fish in all of Florida's waters, they are hard to fool and make for hard fighting on light tackle. They'll be heading to the fishing ground on their new Contender 35 ST. What a way to start a day of fishing. Buddy. I don't know. I don't know. Come on over this side. I'm coming. I think I get a mango snappers. Yeah, that looks like a mango there, buddy. Hey, hey, that's dinner. That's what that is. That's, you know, the guy that owns Contender Boats, he love a mango. Yeah, that's right. Mango snappers. Yeah, Mr. Number. Niebuhr sure does. We're going to make him happy. We take some of these back to Homestead for him. I'll go ahead and get that off of you here. So, Pablo, let's talk a little bit about the time of year we're down here in Marathon. You like that? Yeah. Who doesn't like that? That's delicious. That is. So, in the late fall, early winter, certainly the uh, cold fronts are approaching. Yeah. So what happens when the wind blows real hard out of the south? Which side of the Keys do you fish? That's, that's the beauty of what we have. We have the north side of the Keys that we have the Gulf, Florida Bay, the Gulf. So it's protected as these fronts coming in, vice versa. When they're going through, then the, then the wind will start blowing out of the north. So we have the ocean side. So right. sky's the limit on what we could do, where we can go, what we can fish. We can, you know, that's a, just the beauty of the fact of that the Keys runs to east and west. Yeah, Marathon is where it really starts to turn right. east and west. I and you know, everything changes, you know, so it's, uh, it's that's what we got. We got a front coming in, and we're out here fishing, we're on trying to make trying Atlantic to make it side. happen. And here it is. We're and getting... I know one thing that isn't going to change: what the end result of that mangrove snapper is going to be. That frying pan. Frying pan, black beans and rice, maybe a little plantain, mm. with maybe some type of rum and coke to go oh, with it. Oh, cool! I'll leave it there. Yep. There All right, let me put go. this thing in the hurt locker here. In the hurt locker, put him in now. <laughs> Get him, Johnny. Trying to get my stern spot back. Oh, you sneaking over here in the corner. Almost the go. keeper. There you go. Almost, yep. Well, We're getting there. At least he knew he was fished for, right? It's a game of inches. It always is, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm sliding over into here. <laughs> Captain Pablo? Yes, sir. Yes, no, maybe? Uh, throw him back, man. We'll be go? able to do All something right. a little bit better. I got him. You got, you got him? You, you I got figured him. out what you're, he's doing. You're on his game? I got it. I got it. I saw it. He done made the mistake. He let Poppy in. Let you me know, see. Rick, for a, for a lot of people, and a lot, you know, fishing down here and coming over here in the reef to catch these little guys, bring little little people, yeah. our, our youth. That's uh, one of the funnest fish for them. Yep. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by 
Yamaha. Reliability starts here. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Williamson Lures for the Pelagic Playground. Maverick Boat Company, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And Rapala, catch the latest at rapala.com. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha forward thinking. The all new F200 inline four stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all new F200. Legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. He's fished here for decades. He knows every hump, every drop off, every contour. He's dedicated his entire life to understanding this single body of water. And he didn't know squat about it until two hours ago. AutoChart Live lets you build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Only with Onyx, only from Humminbird. said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Thank you for joining us on Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the latest happenings, contests, appearances by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to hook up with Sportsman's Adventures, you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus tips and techniques on our YouTube channel. If there's a product that we use during the show that you'd like to know more about, you can find links to our sponsors by heading to sportsmansadventures.com. This week's Costa Cool Place and Moment here in Marathon has got to be the Island Fish Company. Now, Cindy and Greg Chapman, they bought this place over 17 years ago, and the reason why I think it's really a cool place is because it's the only place that I know right here on the water that has a helicopter pad. It's a pad big enough for two helicopters, and the guys from the big city, Miami and Fort Lauderdale, when they want to have a fresh grouper sandwich, can fly right here and land. Now, speaking of the menu, understand that when you order grouper here, which is one of their signature dishes, they only bring in black grouper, so you're gonna get the best of the best. The other thing that comes to mind about how great this place is, if you wanna come by boat, they have 25 slips, as well as at low tide, they have eight feet of water, so you can certainly bring a big boat here. But more importantly, when it's time for dessert, the deep fried key lime pie is certainly something that really comes to mind. So that's one of the reasons why I think this should be one of Costa's cool places. So when you come to Marathon, make sure you check out the Island Fish Company right here in the top of Marathon. Oh, we got a nice one on there. Is this the one there with the wire? Know, Johnny. What do you 
What is it? Oh. I don't know. What you I got, Johnny? I don't want him to get me down the bottom. I'm going to get a little more height. Okay. I'm going to close this well so you don't step in it. What you got there, Bubba? I don't know. That's the one with the wire. That's the one with the wire up on the surface. Ah. So, Pablo, while Johnny's fighting that fish, what kind of species of fish do you typically catch down here in Marathon in November, Bub? Well, that's the thing is we got the um, out on the ocean side. We can start getting involved in some of the some of the uh, sail fishing that starts coming in. We hit the reef. You know, every day could be a little different. We can mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Um, we'll get cobias here and there. Um, you know, the rays start showing up, following the cobias. There's just so much activity. The dolphins start coming in. Believe it or not, we even catch dolphin in 25 to 30 feet of water. What? Come on. Absolutely. Come they come on. in here and they start spraying around on the valley hoos. And uh, that's, uh, that's what we do here. We just have the ability of, you know, the, in the bay, you start. Look at this, Ricky. What you got, Bob? I'm not quite sure yet. Hey, the just out of curiosity, where is the gaff at? Is there, do we need a gap there, Cooper? Uh, yeah, it's, I got, there's four of them underneath the deck. Underneath the deck, up front? Okay. Keep doing what you're what doing. What you got, man? Try to bring him around this side uh, if you it's, can. It's a foul, foul, hook, foul hook kingfish, I think. Foul hook king? I think foul so. hook macro. Or zero, I can't really tell, it's pretty deep still. Where's the... The stick gap is on the left gunnel, underneath. Just look up. Keep oh, walking underneath. up, even with the console, Ricky. Even with the console. Even with Ricky. the console, and look up. Foul hook zero. See that little snake gap there? Yeah. There we go. Now bring him over here. Come on, let's see. Now, how do you know the difference between a Ciro and a Spanish? The difference between the Ciro and the Spanish is that we have the lateral lines mm -hmm. that have the dots, the dashes. Right. Um, so you have long lines as well as, as the, dots. As the dots where a, a Spanish macro will have lines lines and or just dots that just follow the fish that are more yellow looking. Got it. And you say you like to eat these better than the others. Yeah, and this is the preferred people that like to have sushi. This uh -huh. is definitely the preferred, the preferred fish the, of the macro family um, right. to have it. Well, let me uh, get this well, this brine open for you. Here, I'll take that. Good job, Pablo. Good job, Coupe neighbor. Yeah, man. All right, give it a little, little add addition to the. Uh, it's got a little color, right? Little species. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Get, well, let's oh, see if we can oh, get a triple get, here. We got a double. Him. Get him. We got a double going on. I got a lot here. of pressure right now. Lot Come lot on, Coop. Come on. Get that Can't triple, you Cooper. Come on. Can't I'm you trying. tell we're waiting I'm on trying. you? I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, oh no! You guys, just take your time. <laughs> <laughs> just take your time. Look at here. A yellow tail on the wire rig. You know. Oh. And a mango snapper! I see your yellow nah. tail. And Ray, you're a snapper, dog. That's what I, I'm the snapper king. That's, that's a nice one, Rick. Look at that. VNC jig head, boxer jig head, and a 3 8. We went down and dirty, Pablo. You got it down? Oops. Yeah, man. Oh, we got a flyer. Yeah, man. And I got a. Yellow tail on the wire rig, you know? Yellow tail on wire? Yellow tail on wire. That's what happened in the you Florida take that Keys. Well, I got, I'm holding my rod here. Thanks for bringing us out here, Pablo. You're welcome, sir. Anytime. I love catching these snappers. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by La Jolla Resort, a place for family and fishermen. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Custom trailer manufacturer, Ameritrail. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line. VMC, your expert in hooks. Startron, cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. And there's no stopping Okuma. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. 
To own a Contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Last night, you know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Alone. Ah! What? Oh, 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 yeah! It's all in the pause. New Shadow Rap from Rapala. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. Mid range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. I couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I, mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a. Just. I was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like, it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it a game changer. Today's Moment in the Keys brings us to Aquarium Encounters in Marathon. It's been open for just a year, and it's a dream come true for its owner, Ben Daughtry. They have all kinds of cool and educational exhibits. And guess what? It's all hands-on. Well, we have multiple, multiple different encounters. One is the nursery encounter, which allows you actually to pet and touch small sharks and small stingrays, and it's a way to do it without getting wet. Uh, but if you want to get into a more immersive encounter, you can get into the stingray tank, and the stingray tank actually allows you to get in there and um, sit down on a bench and have stingrays come right into your lap and wow. feed them. It's really cool. But the biggest exhibit is the Coral Reef Encounter. You actually get in the tank with all kinds of tropical fish with the help of a tethered breathing apparatus and experience feeding them. For an even bigger thrill, you can feed sharks and goliath grouper through a safe acrylic glass. So when you're down in the Keys and your fishing adventure gets sidetracked because it's raining sideways and blowing 20, you can salvage your time by stopping by Aquarium Encounters and turning a bad day into an awesome day. Get him, Captain Rick. Get him. Brian. Whoa. Another mango. Another Cooper. mango. I got to watch more Another carefully. Another mango king. Another one. Yeah, Watch buddy. Out, baby. Here we go. Ah yeah. <laughs> Boy, if that don't get you fired up, nothing will. Now, Pablo, let's talk a little bit about the mangrove snapper. Yes. In Florida, their name, they got different names for different parts of the state, <laughs> it seems like. Yeah, absolutely. They call them gray snappers some places, mangrove snappers for sure in the yep. Keys because we catch them around the island so much. And then up in the Panhandle, they call them black snappers. Yeah, that's it. All the same snapper. Exactly the same snapper. They all come, you know, they, they're all over the place. And they're a great quality of fish to eat. You know, you, you're, you're able to fish them out here on the reef. Now, when the water starts to cool off a little bit, these fish will start moving off into the bay. Right. So the next, next again, back to the cold front, the next front that we get that's right. gonna really cool off the water, these fish will start moving off into the back. And 
you know, so, but they, they're still here from the actual, from the summertime, from the spawn. Now, is this fish related to the Cabrera and also the Schoolmaster? They all have the ivory canines teeth. That's right, they sure are. And when they feed, what you feel is you feel the fish grab. Yep. And then he's feeling, they tear yep. the bait apart, correct? So you gotta get them, you gotta get them to keep going, keep, keep feeding, feeding them. Keep just feeding. like if you're a yellowtail, but just keep it going, keep it going. Let that fish swallow that bait. Sometimes we're using a little bit bigger than usual bait to get the bigger size mangroves. Right. And that's what happens is if you pull back on the bite, you tear the hook and he gets the prize and you get the zero. zero. Put him in the hurt locker there. Okay. <laughs> hurt locker, starting to get the right color. Taking over, Ricky. Okay, Johnny, get it. So, Johnny, let's talk a little bit about the contenders and all the different configurations that they have, bud. Well, I went in the factory the other day. That's a start. All right, Yay! Pablo. So you went in the factory the other I day? I went in the factory the other day, and you know, in final prep, there's always six, eight, ten boats sitting there. Right. And what's cool is you can walk up to the different boats, and not one of them are the same. You can look at it and go, that guy's a sail fisherman. Yeah, triple engine, 39 right. feet yeah, You long. can just tell by the way it's set up, the rod holders, the console, the tower, different ones. Then you may go to the next boat, and this guy's obviously, he's an SKA king fisherman. Yeah. Then the next guy may be a diver, right. you know? And some things stay the same, but there's so many different options and they're never the same. And every once in a while, I'll be sitting around and thinking, you know, I got a great idea for my boat. And I'll go in there and say, hey, what do you think about this? And they're like, we already thought about it. Oh, I think I got a yellow tail. No, got a mango, a little one. Look, that guy had two pilchards in his mouth. One coming out one side and one coming out the other side. The mouth? The mouse. <laughs> the mouth. <laughs> so Johnny, you know what we've been using, and I know you know, but the guys at home don't know, is we're using the Akuma rod with a Canis reel loaded up with suffix braid, not 832, they have a, a super braid. That's 20 pound super braid with a, a VMC, quarter ounce boxer head jig head and we're hooking these pilchers sometimes either in the throat or we're hooking them in the butt on the belly back towards the you know tail so it seems lot, to be working a lot pretty of current, good so it's yeah it's a lot of current. The current and remember this when you hook a pilchard underneath whether it's in the throat or whether it's down near his tail and you know around his anal area the key is that makes him want to swim down even if you're not even using a jig head not using the weight it will actually make them swim down. So you can use a circle hook with VMC circle hook or whatever it is. If you want to make them go down, hook them on the bottom side. You hook them in the back or the top, they're going to stay up on the surface. Oh. Nice job in that hook set, Captain. Well, we trying. So Pablo, you know, we're out here snapper fishing and there's a lot of great restaurants up and down the Keys. What's the best way you like to have snapper? Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. It's all right. The best way that I like to have snapper, there's a, well, there's the good old traditional way, you know, the Spanish way. Yeah. A little bit of butter, I mean, a little bit of flour, a little bit of lemon fried whole, and again, that rice and beans. Rice and beans. Rice and beans all the time. But here's the other, you know, a lot of these restaurants, they have, you could cook your own catch. You know, snapper is a great snapper, black, it's a, it's great blackened. Uh-huh. Uh, almondine, things of that nature. Um, you know, just a matter of preparation and not killing the flavor of the fish, but the texture of the mangrove snapper is really where it's at. Right. Well, this guy is, reminding me of why they call them snappers. I'm trying to get my jig out of there. I got my box of jig head down there in his throat. I know we're gonna take this fish. So I wanna get my jig head out of there. And I want you to know, he's reminding me why they call them snappers. Don't let that snapper grab a hold of your fingers now. Got a bite, Ricky. Got him? Yep. 
Looks like a YT. It. I think we'll let him go. Little yellow tail. Good job. Look how cool it is, John, when they, the longer they're out of the water, the more color they get. Isn't that amazing? Look, you can see how he's starting to turn pink and all these different colors and his... Pretty, huh? Yeah, his stripe give, gets give even more. a little more. smooch for karma. No. Yeah, you give him a little smooch for no, karma. No, Come on. Snapper, snapper. It's good. Yeah, tail. You know, give him a little smooch lip. on the tail. There we go. There All we right. go. So that's what we're doing here. We're that's, kissing the you fish. You know, it's good karma. You got to give I back. I've never heard of that, but you know, he does know how to do this, so we'll see. But you got a yellow tail? I got a yellow tail. Almost a, that might be a keeper, huh, Pablo? Yeah, he's close. What do you he's think? Definitely a keeper. You hooked him by the hair on his chinny, 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 chinny. chinny, chinny. He's about now? to fall off right now. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably let him fall off right in the fish box. What do you think? You bend over and open it up, I bet you it will. <coughs> Timing's everything in life. <laughs> Marathon is considered the heart of the Florida Keys and has always been known for its family-oriented community that enjoys a beautiful natural environment. For anglers, it's hard to beat the outstanding offshore and inshore fishing. In the winter, it's billfish and tuna. In the spring, it's bridge-hugging tarpon. And in the summer, it's dolphin. But today, it was mangrove snapper and good friends that made it another great sportsman's adventures. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on Sportsman's Adventures, Captain Rick takes us along on three big fishing tournaments in the Florida Keys. Find out what it takes to enter and play in some of the biggest high-stakes championships in the world. <laughs>